the trachea extends from C6 up to T5. Sixth cervical vertebra, sixth cervical vertebra up to fifth thoracic vertebra. Now, the trachea is also called windpipe. It is present in the mid thoracic, mid ventral thoracic cavity and it extends some 10 to 16 centimeters in length and it contains, it is supported by some 15 to 20 C-shaped cartilaginous rings. So C-shaped cartilaginous rings, they are like that. If I have taken the cross-section of trachea, I can see rings like this. So they are made up of hyaline cartilage. They are They are present on the lateral side as well as ventral side, but on the dorsal side they are incomplete. I told you the first ring is the cricoid. Cricoid is the lowest, mo lower most part of the larynx and that itself becomes the uppermost part of trachea. The first ring of trachea which is complete. The next remaining rings are all incomplete and made up of hyaline cartilage. If I remove that rings the trachea collapses and inside you can see there is pseudo stratified ciliated epithelium. You will find pseudo stratified ciliated epithelium. A pseudo stratified epithelium. Some cells are long, some cells are short. The level of the larger cell This is a pseudo stratified epithelium. Some cells are long, some cells are short. Appears as if the cells are arranged in two layers. But if you see the base, after one cell, next cell, next, next, next. One after another it is at, so cells are arranged one besides another, so it's a simple epithelium only, but appears to be stratified. That's why it's called pseudo stratified epithelium. And you can see cilia, here and there you can see cilia. You can also find goblet cells. Goblet cells. Goblet cells are like that. This is this is the cytoplasm and this is the cavity. There is a cavity inside. So this cell is called goblet cell. Goblet cell produces mucus. It is specifically it is producing mucus. So here and there you will find goblet cells and cells lining inside is pseudo stratified ciliated epithelium. In the wall you will also find smooth muscles. Externally trachea is attached to other parts of the body, other organs in the thoracic cavity with the help of areolar connectivity. So that, that, that's the things that we are seeing. So trachea extends from C6 to T5. It is around 10 to 16 centimeters in length and it is supported by 15 to 20 C-shaped cartilaginous rings made up of hyaline cartilage. And inside it is lined by pseudo stratified ciliated epithelium. It is surrounded inside by pseudo stratified ciliated epithelium. And some of the cells they produce mucus. See now when, when a foreign substance is coming inside so this goblet cells will produce mucus surrounding that, that foreign substance. It can be a microbe, it can be bacteria, virus, fungus or dust particle. Now this whole thing is pushed outside with the help of cilia. So that cilia reaction will push that, you see, because if that substance enters into lungs, there is no outlet here. So it has to be pushed outside from the same side. So as such, you will have cilia which is always moving towards the pharynx. So that's the condition inside. And above the pseudostratified epithelium, you will find hyaline cartilaginous rings 
and uh, with smooth muscles in between that space on the dorsal side there is smooth muscles there is a connective tissue and externally there is areolar connective tissue so that's the conditions of trachea